Shalom and welcome to this special edition of PowerPoints. And we, we're calling this, and the theme of it is the security of wisdom. We are learning in Proverbs chapter 4 that wisdom is to be sought after, wisdom is to be got, wisdom and understanding is to be joined together so that you have the wisdom of what to do and how to do it. But one of the keys to doing that is to keep your eye on the Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, Matthew 6 and 33, and all other things shall come unto thee. So in Proverbs 20, uh, 4 verse 26, it says, Ponder the path of your feet and let your ways be established. Isn't that interesting that your feet, we have a saying in House of David amongst our leadership, we say your feet tell the truth because you'll have people that will say, oh, I'm going to do this and that, and then they don't show up. Their words are saying they're gonna participate, but their feet are somewhere else. Ponder your feet. Where do your feet go? Can I take it deeper than that? If you really wanna know where your heart is with the Lord, look at your feet and your checkbook. Your checkbook, where you sow your money and where you spend your time will tell you what kind of believer you are. If you really wanna be honest with God, look at your feet and your money, that will tell you. Because a lot of people think they're a lot better believers than they really are. Then they'll find out your feet pretty much go where they want and they give their money to self-serving, soulish needs. If your feet are serving others and your money is sowing into others' needs, then that's really wisdom and that's understanding because what happens is you're having a seed time and harvest mentality and God will abundantly bless you. You can't outgive him. If you give the Lord more time, he'll give you more time. If you give the Lord more money, he'll give you more money because wisdom and knowledge says God is not a man that he should lie. God bless you. I will see you tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow because I want to pray with you tomorrow that you can be able to walk in authority so that that your feet will stay on the path and your mind will be focused forward. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Shalom. Sow a seed into Israel this Jubilee and sponsor a Jubilee olive tree. With this special offer, you will receive a ram's horn from Israel and save over $60.